Mr. Karen, uh, it doesn't say what slide um, is um, the one I'm referring to, but what are the values of tau i and tau f in the integration? Aha, uh -huh. yeah. So the, the tau r is basically is, is um, you, so uh, matter and LBT, because you have to couple the partons to the, to the hydro, for instance, right? Um, this, is, this is where you would, you would extra, essentially extract with, with what these guys are. Um, the, um, the, so because of that, as soon as the, the parton enters into, into the, uh, um, the, the hydro or the inside of matter, we keep track of where it is in the hydro. And this is where it, what gives you this tau i. This is the initial time where it enters, okay? The tau f is ultimately going to be given by um, uh, few, so it's going to be essentially going to be given by, um, I forgot to write that down, uh, by this guy over here, the, 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 the q plus. Okay, so it's, it, you essentially have uh, an, an, an uppermost energy that you are allowed to have, and that essentially determines how far you can go into, into, the, uh, into the medium. Yeah, I'll, 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 I think I'll update the slides and I'll, I'll, I'll provide more information on, on, on what these guys are, on, especially on the TALF, so, it's, so that it's clearer. Okay, so uh, let's just, let me just quickly illustrate uh, essentially what the, what the part-turn shower actually looks like uh, once you end up entering uh, uh, well, let's compare them basically uh, the, the, the parton shower in the vacuum versus the parton shower in the medium. The parton shower in the vacuum, because you don't, uh, because you don't scatter off of anything, is actually a lot more uh, uh, collimated in a sense. So the, the cone of the shower is a lot smaller, okay, uh, as these splits are happening. Now, if we, if we look at what's happening in the, in the medium, uh, then of course, because of interactions with the medium, the, the, the shower becomes a lot, uh, a lot more diffuse in, in, the, in the transverse direction, okay? So the, 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 the jet becomes quote unquote fatter, okay? So this is uh, due to two things. Uh, first, it is due, of course, to, to Q hat, which is essentially in a sense giving you like an average bonification uh, to the virtuality um, of, of the, uh, the, the jet uh, due to the presence of the quark gluon plasma. Um, I say average in here because you don't actually keep track uh, in, in, in the Q hat formula of the, uh, where the individual uh, uh, partons in the QGP are, okay? Uh, but Jetscape actually also keeps track of that, of, of the individual partons, because as I said, we, ha we also have this 2 to 2 sc scattering that I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, and because of that, you can essentially gain partons from the QGP. This is illustrated over here where you have, a, 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 uh, this is a parton that's, that's from the QGP, this is part of a, for, for a parton from the shower, and once you exchange this energy and momentum, all of a sudden, the virtuality of the, of the, and the energy essentially of the, of the uh, outgoing parton is, is, is high enough that it's decoupled from the QGP. Okay, so, you, so this is essentially a gain term, and down below here, I'm essentially depicting a source term where you've essentially lost so much energy that your virtuality and slash your energy is, is, is in such a way that you, you should thermalize uh, uh, these partons, okay? So these, these types of interactions are more stochastic and this is essentially what Yasuki is going to be talking about uh, in, a, in, in the next talk, okay? Uh, so now let's talk about a little bit more about these extra scatterings that I'm, that I'm, that I'm highlighting here. And, and let's talk about how the shower essentially develops in this uh, low virtuality and high energy regime, okay? Okay, so um, there are essentially two formalisms 